Hey guys, welcome back to Never Up Alone Homestead and welcome back to my world. Well, I have another project, I have another dream, I have another vision, and that is this wood stove. Now, the stallers are supposed to be here this morning uh, to put it in. I'm waiting on them at this moment. But, you know, I could install this myself. Actually, I have planned on it. As many of you know, I've been taking care of my mom, and my mom recently went home to be with the Lord. So, with them taking care of her, you know, and taking care of Homestead, it, it was challenging at times, but I wouldn't have had it in any other way. And now she's gone, I'm just having to take care of her Homestead and my Homestead, and so I'm kind of juggling two worlds still. But, nevertheless, this is the dream and the vision that's been in the making. Actually, I put the stone in here, um, just 
So anyways, what I did is I took a, a like a Windex bottle, I filled it up with water, give me a, a little little good squirt, okay, little good squirt, and shook it shook it up and sprayed it on there. Took a paper towel and it came off, really easy, just real super easy, easier than I thought it was gonna be. So uh, that was my idea. I don't know if anybody else has done that before, but that was my idea, uh, trying to see if that would work. Also down here in the front. It had just a little bit that didn't want to come off, like maybe it was tar, tar or something or other. It was just, you know, sap maybe or something or other. It was a little bit more difficult. I sprayed that Windex in water. I mean, not Windex. Dawn dish detergent and water on it. And then I took a, a green Brillo pad and scrubbed it lightly and it came right off. That was showing that, uh, well, that was some information I put in my first video. So... Uh, the next thing I'm going to be doing is also, once I get this window out, I think I'm just going to wait for the end, is this is the gasket, the rope gasket that goes around the door, all the way around the door. This keeps the smoke out. Um, I did take a flathead screwdriver right here because I, I noticed there was some cement, look, cement, um, that they use to hold this rope in. And it came out real easy, but I missed that right there. So when I take the window out, I think it'll be, yeah, when I take the window out, that'll give me, make sure I got all that off. And it came out real easy. So what this does is just, uh, once you, you're gonna put cement behind it. Um, where's my stuff at? Well, I got, I got uh, stove gasket cement. Okay, I got it off of Amazon. I uh, order it, it delivered to your door, bam. Okay, so this is gonna go on here, minimum, you don't put a whole lot, it's minimum, you don't want maximum. And then this right here is gonna go and it's gonna wrap around and it's gonna keep that smoke out and you know seal your um, seal your door as long and also that's the purpose of this gasket also to keep the smoke out um, inside your home. So there's my phone I forgot to cut off. So um, another thing, excuse me for a minute. So I have a lot of solicitors calls. I should know to cut that phone off. So this right here is a ash bucket. Okay, it's a ash bucket and it's not put anything else in. This is very vital necessity uh, for your wood stove. Got it off of Amazon. Uh, wasn't very, it was like 30 bucks, you know, very cheap. So it's got a lid to it. So um, the other thing I want to show you is this right here. Now the stallers are coming in. Now I know I could do this. I already had a visionary. I'm kind of wishing I'd just gone ahead and just went on my plan. But I got a lot going on, so um, there's supposed to be two of them coming in. Now this board, this 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 fire, uh, so fire, uh, what do you put up under it? Now I, originally I was gonna tile this out. My my plan was to tile the wall, tile this out, put tile down because I can I can do the tiling, and I was gonna put a uh, stone in. Now maybe later on, but since uh, winter's approaching, what I did is I went ahead. And got and see the other one's really small. This, this is pretty large. Um, it looks like stone, which is pretty much what I was going to be using. And I got it bigger because um, well, I could set the wood on it. You know, the ash bucket, whatever. So just decided that's the thing to do because um, if I had tiled it in then I would have had it big anyhow. So here I went with Duraplus, okay? Um, this right here is your stove pipe. These are the double wall stove pipe. Excuse me. I was uh, planning on going to the triple wall. The triple wall will be outside, but this is your telescopic pipe, double wall uh, telescopic pipe, 40 to 68 inches and uh so as you can see it's it's double walled 
coming from the roof up will be triple wall. And uh, you need to know the diameter of your wood stove for this pipe. It could be 8 inches or 6 inches. Because you see over here, when I measure mine, it is 6 inches. See how good that stove looks? If you go in the past video, it looks dynamite. So it's going to be awesome. Oh, also down there, the um, the ash bucket, it didn't, it didn't have a little knob. Um, it didn't have a little knob to it. And uh, I looked it up. It's like $20 for a knob to fit in this ash bucket right there, a little bolt, you know. So this right here is actually sets on a car. You know, they used to have these like, doodads that sets on front of the car just, just for decorations. So I'm going to put this little thing in, put that in it. I mean, I'm going to try. I probably might go with something else. I don't think it's going to get too hot down here. I could be wrong. But anyways, it almost fits in. And uh, so I'm going to drill it out a little bit. Now, there is a metal strips right here, a metal, uh, metal strip right here, and the metal strip here. And uh, I'm just going to paint those gold because what they wanted, the price that they wanted to replace those was outrageous. Out, just totally outrageous because it's discontinued and they just kind of take advantage of the people. Now, what I did also with this right here, it has some rust on it. I took vinegar, uh, a, a rag and some vinegar, and I wiped on it and that rust came out, came off. Um, so it might have just a little bit on it, but uh, I'll decide when I, you know, probably when I take it out, I just might get some spray paint and uh, find out what exactly I could use on there and spray paint it but it's not bad so it's not even you know i don't even have to really worry about that the other little pieces that go right here they was uh pretty rusted so it really don't have to go on there i might not even put it on there so going back over here so you got the stove pipe that is going to be coming out of that six inch part on the stove uh this right here all this is going on the inside so you got, you got the triple wall air flute now it's six inches and it's six inches in length i believe i got all this right you know it's all going inside because i got the rest of it this outside is is out there on um, the chimney part so also the six inch double wall uh, stove top adapter the damper okay and then the double wall six inch 18 inch length double wall now um so this uh, i wanted to get i was trying to find some dap dap polyurethane sealant uh i'm not sure hopefully i've got the right thing i mean I, i've looked at all of them i had to run to lowe's and uh i called places around here nobody had really what i was looking for i think this will be fine i was looking for polyurethane uh sealant I was actually looking for a, a DAP. Now, I know this type of um, product is pretty good. So, guys, I'm so excited about this project. I'm, I'm so ready for the guys to get here so we can go ahead and start. Because I'm always project bound. I always, uh, you know, like to always conquer and always trying to get things done because time is short so also stove pipe gasket cement okay another thing i got i don't know if i mentioned it a whole bunch of gasket rope so my god why did you get all that well you know we're living in such times now that we have to make decisions and plan a lot ahead and so what I decided to do was to just get this when I need it. All I got to do is go out there and share it. I didn't got to go to town. I don't have to order it. I don't have to think about the money. So we've got to be people that plan ahead. You know, whatever you're doing, plan ahead. You know, usually now if I go to the grocery store, I just don't pick up one. I pick up two or three, you know, because, or, you know, stuff like that. Like, like this, um. This right here. And I got another tube of, um, actually, it's metal sealant, uh, silicone. So I picked up all three. This is way too much. But you know, um, 
make sure it's best to make sure you got enough when you're doing a project. You can always take it back. I also got some screws. It says it does it, this is twist lock. It says it doesn't need it, but we're I'm living in a hurricane a type area. Um, I'm living in a hurricane area. So also up there with the triple wall, with the triple wall, I got braces coming off that's gonna to attach to the metal roof. I have a metal roof. And that wasn't required. If that was required, it depends on your height. Mine, it wasn't required, but I went ahead and got that so that I could hurricane proof um, my uh, my stove pipe out there, my chimney part out there. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I believe this is maybe part three. So uh, when the guys get here and they start installing it, then I'll show, show you that video of them installing the, the uh, Dura, what is this? Dura Plus. I thought I'd seen another name off. This is Dura Vent, okay? So Dura Plus, I went with them because of the product. I wanted a good product. When you're putting in your stove, like Lowe's, when I went to Lowe's to get this uh, cement, um, you know, and silicone, it's polyurethane. When I went to Lowe's and I seen their pipe, it was that flimsy stuff. I would not advise that at all as far as putting in your home. You don't want to do that. I don't think that's a good idea. It might be for a garage, uh, not a garage, like a, a building away from your house. Um, but even then, you're going to have to replace it sooner or later, probably sooner than you realize. And it's best just to go ahead and invest in something that will stand the test of time. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for being my subscribers. Please give me a like, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell when you know, so you'll know that when I send up a video, I don't send up a, up a whole lot of videos like I would like to. This is a new camera, so I don't even know how to upload it yet. It's just so much going on right now. But you know what? We are, we just got to keep pushing and you know what? We'll look up and we'll be there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload a video. God bless you and remember to make it a great day. It can be challenging, but if we think, I've got to make this a great day. If you look for ways to make it a great day, you will make it a great day. All right, love you so much. And remember, tears come at night, but joy comes into the morning. You know, every day is different. So, you know, don't put yourself way so way in the future that you can't think about the now because you can't enjoy the now. Enjoy the journey that you're on. I know it can be hard. I have been through some tough times this year. Tough. Tough. I'm tough. Surgery, major surgery. My mom, you know, and the death of that unexpectedly. Um to live like 89 years old is you know this it was just one of those suddenly suddenly's happened in our life but anyways guys love you so much hit that bell so you can get my next video thank you so much for watching love you so much and this is cammy sorry this is cammy from never alone homestead bye bye guys